Welcome to episode 28 of the Ask Bunka show. In this episode, we get asked, how do I replace certain text on my WordPress website with new text? And we actually are doing this ourselves for a project that we have in-house here. Also, if you have any questions about WordPress freelancing or running a business, visit our website, pressavenue.com, click ask a question, fill out the form, we'll get back to you, we love to help, and a lot of the questions we answer via videos just like this one. If this video is helpful in any way, we'd love a thumbs up, and if you want to see more just like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. All right, so for a little backstory, we've copied this website. Uh, we've actually copied this website, which is a slightly different one, looks just the same, just has my and the thing here. Copy this website to a new installation, and we're changing the name from My Press Avenue to Social Media Design Library, um, which is just a product that we have just created. But within this, we want to get rid of the everything that says My Press Avenue and change it to My Social or Social Media Design Library. Excuse me. So the best way to do that is to log into the back end of your WordPress uh, dashboard and then go ahead and go to plugins and then click add new. Once here on the top right, it says search plugins. So I'll type better search and replace. So there are plenty of plugins that are search and replace style plugins. You can see them all here. When I type this in, I get 574 items. I'm sure there are some other good ones, but this one truly is the best. Um, this one has 300,000 active installations, uh, which I think is fantastic. So I got at least five of those, but the rest are other people, which is great. So I'll go ahead and click install now. It'll then click activate, it says the plugin is activated. And then we're going to go ahead and use this. So here it is here. So I'll go down to tools and then better search and replace. And what I like about this plugin is it gives you a ton of options that other search and replace ones don't give you. So I am going to search for Press Avenue and I'm gonna replace with social media design, whoops, I gotta spell it right. Library, and ask you which tables do you wanna change? I'm gonna select them all, case sensitive or not. Um, the GUID, I would leave this alone unless you know what you're doing. And then lastly, my favorite thing about this plugin is right here, run as a dry run. So what this basically does is it's searching for Press Avenue to replace with Social Media Design Library. But a dry run is it's letting me search the whole database and sites and widgets and everything. And then it'll tell me how many changes it's going to make. Um, this is great to see what this plugin actually does. A lot of these search and replace, you'll put in an item replace it with something. You don't know how many changes it made. It just says it's done. Um, and with bigger sites, it's really hard to tell what happened or didn't happen. This is another great tool for anyone who is looking to secure their site. And it can looks for HTTP and replaces HTTPS, which can make life a lot easier for securing and getting that little green lock. All right, so it's just wrapping up here. So it'll give me a page reload. So the dry run says 55 tables were searched, 223 cells were found that need to be updated, zero changes were made. Does that make sense? Additionally, you can click here for more information. Within this table, you'll see the dry run details, and mainly you see the post meta, the posts, and then some form stuff is where uh, the bulk of the changes are, something in the users, etc. So if you're happy with this, um, you can go ahead and uncheck this. If there are any cells that you don't want changed within this, so say maybe you didn't want to change a username, uh, you would go ahead and find, let's see, the users. So this one here, I don't want to change. I would hold control or hold command, depending if you're using a Mac or a PC, and then unselect that one. So changing the username is not something I want to do. Uh, so now I will uncheck this like I already have and click run search and replace. So now what it's doing is it's running through all those tables once more and it's actually going to find this term one more time and actually replace it with this term, which makes life a lot easier, especially if you have a lot of widgets, pages, etc. So we'll just let it finish up here. All right, so I just unpaused it and it took about 15, 20 more seconds. 
But you can see here at the top that it lets you know what happened. So again, one less table because I selected one less. And then 223 cells changed in 204 updates. So you can see the details once more. But I absolutely love this plugin. They do have a pro version. Um, but what I use it for is the search and replace only. I don't need this other stuff. Um, but I do recommend supporting them. And you can click here. If you log in and aside, you'll see here, they'll send you a coupon. Anyway, if you have any questions about WordPress, how to use certain plugins, themes, backing up, whatever, please leave a comment below. Also, if this was helpful in any way, I'd love a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos just like this one, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.